Shillong is known for being home to churches of diverse denominations, some of which have crossed a hundred years and still stand as firm as the day their foundations were laid. One such century-old structure is the All Saints Church at IGP Point in Shillong under the Anglican Diocese of North East India. The All Saints congregation celebrated its 125th anniversary in 2002. In this episode of Shillong's Iconic Structures, we are featuring the All Saints Church, an iconic cathedral that was founded in 1876. Nestled in the heart of Shillong, this colonial structure personifies calmness and peacefulness that drowns the din of traffic and the frenetic pace of the city. The church is spread across five acres of land that houses the All Saints Hall, All Saints School, the Bishop's House and the Diocese of North India under the name of North East Diocesan Trust Association. This heritage structure is surrounded by a well-maintained lawn adorned with lush green grass, delightful flowers, foliage and tall trees on all three sides of its boundary. The compound also accommodates a heritage pine tree that is almost as old as the church. It is noteworthy to mention here that this quintessential pine tree stands out from the rest, especially during Christmas with its tall frame and grand adornment during the season of celebrations in Shillong. Let's talk about the history of this church. In the 1860s, during the British Raj, officers sensed the importance of keeping their faith and Anglican tradition alive, which consequently led to the need for a church building. It was on 3rd August 1872 when Bishop Robert Millman of Calcutta visited Shillong that a site for the church, the congregation and the parsonage for the chaplain was authorised. Prior to this, it is said that some of the faithful believers belonging to the Anglican Church would meet at the governor's house every Sunday for prayer services. The foundation stone of the church was first laid by Lord Northbrook, the then Viceroy of India during his visit to Shillong on 22nd August 1874. It was later consecrated by Bishop Edward Johnson of Calcutta on 18th August 1877 when he dedicated it to All Saints. Unfortunately, the Great Earthquake of 1897 completely destroyed the All Saints Church building. However, some parts of the structure as well as objects housed within the church remained intact even after the calamity and they made the church truly historical. These are the altar including the stone font used for baptism, a wooden lectern carved in the shape of an eagle. A Bible that weighs around 5 kilograms. And a well-crafted wooden door, all of which are in use till date. The other two intriguing elements within the premises are the piano and the organ. Both are as old as the church. Within three months of the devastating earthquake, services continued to be held in the makeshift church that was built in the same compound. The construction of the new church building that stands till today began in the year 1900 with Mr. W. Arundel as the architect. This new church finally opened its doors on June 26, 1902 with the bishop's license. The structure and architecture of the All Saints Church is a reflection of the British and Anglican traditions. These include the high ceilings with age-old lanterns hanging from the well-designed wooden beams, the admirable stained glass windows brought all the way from England, the magnificent wood carvings, earthy wooden floors, and the pews with detailed and unique patterns. They speak volumes of the extent of hard work and conscious assessment of the intricate designs and elaborate carvings, both on the interior and exterior spaces of the church. The building was constructed in the shape of a cross, as is the case of most church buildings in the city. The intricate designs of the wooden ceiling and roof were done by one Mr. Leong, an expert Chinese craftsman back in the day. At present, the repolishing and maintenance of the ceiling and the roof tiles is done once in two years and is handled by a craftsman who works exclusively for the Raj Bhavan. Just like the ceilings and the roof, the walls of this church were also designed to ensure minimal damage in case of any natural calamities. The walls were built using sand, lime and straw and while a certain portion of the church's walls have been replaced by cement, the rest remains the same. The structure of the church is designed in the same way as every church of North India structure in the country. It includes three wooden platforms. The top platform consists of the altar in the middle, the bishop's seat to the right and the vicar's seat on the left. One step below is the platform for the choir and two steps down is the main hall where the attendees sit. We have to, in, in, in order to maintain the uh, structure, we have to time to time we have to do some minor 
minor repairings and all. But once in a uh, once in a year or uh, uh, once in a year we paint and we uh, do the roofs and all. Yeah, maintenance is expensive. Uh, it costs four to five lakhs to painting of the roofs. So altogether, you can say that to in a year we spend at least ten lakhs. The church bells also have their own history. The chimes of four bells with the best bell weighing around 152 kilograms approximately were made by bell founders Gillett and Johnston Limited of Croydon, England in 1931. They were in a carillon next to the church and were first rung on Christmas of 1931. The tenure bell bears the inscription O gentes omnes undique laudate lob dominion which is Latin for O be joyful in the Lord all ye lands. Currently, this magnificent, iconic structure is home to 515 families across the state and has its branches in six places, namely St. Stephen's Chapel in Maukenrio, St. Mark's Church in Mausai Knam, St. John's Church in Umsai Tsning, St. Andrew's Church in Laubirton, Bhairambong CNI Fellowship Church of the Epiphany in Maulanong, and Sadhu Sundar Singh Church in Shillong. See, and when, when, they, uh, when the first service uh, was conducted in the All Saints Cathedral uh, in 18, uh, yeah, in 1876 in the first service. There was only uh, 55 people have attended the service and 12 communicant members. And uh, it has increased. Now we have 974 members only in the cathedral. So yeah, over the period it has grown. The church has gone through a sea of changes ever since it was founded in 1876. This is a very valuable structure, you know. Uh, it's a heritage, buildings. So we hardly find this kind of work in Silong. The All Saints Church has been playing an indispensable role in the life and ministry of the entire diocese of North East India. The history of this church in Shillong thus becomes the history of the congregation. Each new generation has accomplished something, leaving behind a permanent memorial of their services to the church.